from scratch I literally mean from scratch S-C-R-A-P-C-H and today I'm gonna be showing you how you can install Fortnite from scratch you know that sound that we make after scratching something or while scratching something now literally uh, people are facing a sort of like how you can no not how you can but they're facing problems like uh, subfolder directories and all that stuff so some people are there who are not able to create even a folder I am sorry for saying that I'm no I'm being a bit sarcastic but <laughs> alright so where, where, where were we now literally if you want to install Fortnite for example if I go to my main drive and that's my phone never mind that uh, like if I want to install it on my G drive which is media named as media now need not to be your drive would be named as media it could be even like uh, local drive something like that but depends now if I want to install out here in media I want to make sure that my epic games launcher is also installed in here uh, you can literally see it's right in here epic games launcher so it's installed in my G drive I want to install the same thing out here alright now first of all thing that I want to do here would be to empty up my temporary files and I type in uh, PM something instead of that just open it up delete your temporary files I think our video is mentioning what up how you can improve FPS and improve your PC performance something like that and just delete all these because these are not needed open up run percent temp percent and temp just easy as that okay so here's my epic games launcher folder I don't want to mess up I created a folder named Fortnite you can even delete it just create a new folder name it Fortnite like that and just to refresh your page just went like that just go back to your epic games launcher and out here in settings make sure that you take uh, minimize the tray and run my computer start just this is whenever you want it to and uh, make sure that use proxy is not ticked I don't want to uh, want you people to use proxy either at all make sure that you're online nothing else is going on there should be nothing else just like mine I think Unreal Engine is doing some stuff onto itself but I don't think it's gonna cause trouble just make sure that there's a clean installation of Fortnite click on install now we're gonna check auto update create shortcut and let's go in here let's go and select your drive where is it where are you Fortnite and click on select folder that's gonna be part Fortnite Fortnite now here's the thing what you need to do it creates double Fortnite click on options make sure that uh, I don't want to say the wall I, this stuff is complete shit uh, there's nothing else I I do know French I know no, not French alright that's gonna make a, make a bit of time so here's the thing that I want to fix up now sometimes it happens that it shows double to so delete this folder yeah that's how you do it and select again go to that same drive select it and that is going to be path G Fortnite now you have one subfolder Fortnite click on install and this is going to take years and years forever now you can see there's an orange circle up there and that is I think this stuff is possible like uh, some people are saying that it cannot be paused when they whenever they do that and they just pause it and just close the uh, this whole stuff engine when you when they come back it's like they start they have to start from zero here's the thing that you need to do so, so that that doesn't occur literally your uh, drive should have enough space first of all like I have 83 GB empty there and next thing would be make sure that this is not FAT32 you see here it's NTFS just give me a second I hope I can explain you in a better way okay now I plugged in my external uh, external flash drive I don't know what is happening to me so there's nothing important in here you not need, you don't need to watch it absolutely okay now go to properties and you can see this drive is F8032 that means there's a differentiation between this and where is it and this these two are an external drive which is used to create or store some sort of small data which is F8032 and allows only a transfer of about to 4 GB whereas NTFS are about 212 terabytes so that's a lot of space and yes that is what you need to do make sure that you wherever you're installing Fortnite it either can be on an external drive make sure that it is an NTFS and how you can convert that just just right click uh, just right click click on format and from F8032 which would be default click the DFS and click start I'm not gonna be formatting my drive and leave it as it is it's gonna take time but it is it would be installed I think my internet isn't providing that speed for a while so it's just like that I hope you enjoyed this video make sure that you like and subscribe for more I'm Sourcing Rawat signing out now that, that you watched the video it's a perfect time to click on the subscribe button and like this video also make sure to check out other videos popping in front of you